Hello students. So if you recall yesterday I showed you one image and I asked you that which of the following preparation will be used in such a case and this was the image and as you can see in this image oozing out lesion was shown and this is probably eczematous lesion and this is wet lesion. So this is a patient showing a wet eczema lesion. These were the options. You will use ointment, gel, water based or alcohol based lotion. Okay. So how to approach to such questions? So remember that there are few specific preparations or formulations which are used for few specific conditions. Okay. Like whenever there is a breach in the superficial layer of the skin or whenever there are cracks, you should avoid alcohol based lotions or alcohol based formulations. Why? Because as you all know that when we apply alcohol or like when you get wounded, you apply spirit, there is a lot of burning sensation. So if patient is applying everyday alcohol over the lesion, that is going to trouble the patient. Okay. So obviously alcohol based lotion should be avoided in such cases. So then what should be preferred? So remember that water based lotion should be preferred or water based creams can also be preferred. So these are few important points to remember that water based lotion should be preferred for oozing lesions that is wet eczema. Alcohol based lotion should be preferred for hairy areas like scalp and that is the reason why minoxidil which is a very common drug used in androgenetic alopecia is available in alcohol based form. Then ointments are generally preferred for thick lesions like lichenified lesions or dry or thick lesions that is dry eczema or chronic eczema. Then gels they are generally used for cosmetically important areas like face and cream they can be oil based water based or it act as an emulsifying agent so they are used for both that is dry as well as wet lesions now here i am going to show you one condition and you need to identify the condition as well as if you know the treatment for this condition then you should write the name of the condition and the treatment in the comment box below I would also like to request you that preparing these videos take a lot of time and effort. So kindly share these videos with your colleagues and your juniors. This will be helpful for them. Thank you very much.